had some, we got quite a few complaints about the sound in the last uh, videos. They said um, the language learning sound was a little bit too loud. So we're adjusting that and tonight it should be better. We'll go over there and try that soon. Uh, right now we're just on the starting screen. Minute 24 left to go. Uh, we're setting up to go. You guys all know the drill by now. We're going to do the language learning first to activate our signals, to activate our our brain patterns. And once we get those activated, we're going to try to go into the singularity. Uh, 54 seconds left still. And we're doing pretty good here. Uh, we're on still on the screen. The gameplay is going to look like this. Uh, and we got our brain waves. Um, they're supposed to be up and running. I don't know why they're not there. Hold on just a second. They are supposed to be there and they're not there. Let's see where they go. Are they coming? We got to get the brain waves going. Come on, brain waves. Without the brain waves, we just aren't going to do it. You got to be here. Come on, brain waves. Where are you? Let's get them going. Brain waves, brain waves. Everybody repeat. Brain waves, brain waves. Where are you? They're supposed to be right up here. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Where could they be? Hold on just a second. Let me see if I can find them here. Um, we are connected and everything. I want to disconnect the router and connect again. It's weird. Sometimes they appear, sometimes they don't. You got to be a kind of a hacker to get these things to work. Uh, it's very important that we get them to work because I don't think we're going to reach the singularity without them. Where in the heck are they? Where's those brain waves? Oh, wow. Come on. If they appear, I'm going to be really happy. They were here. They were here and they disappeared. Come on, brain waves. Brain waves, brain waves. They gotta be here. Um, let me, I got the brain waves. You can see them on the. They're on here and they're moving good. I'm gonna see. Oh, wait a second. That's why they're not here. That thing turned off for some reason. Okay, now they should be back. I just have to refresh them, I guess. Come on, brain waves. There. Okay, they're going to appear now. There. Come on, brain waves. There's my brain waves in real time. You see of them moving there. And we're going to do some language learning first to activate the linguistic centers of our mind. And then after we're completely activated, we're going to go back and try to reach what's called the chest singularity, which is a type of brain pattern where everything seems clear. Your rating, chest rating, just starts going up and up and up until you become probably world-class material if you're really in the singularity and you stay in there. And we'll have all of this documented on the brainwaves. So without any more to do, without any more ado, let's uh, go over, shall we, and start 
this uh, language learning at uh, Duolingo, which is another free site. We're only playing on free sites here tonight. We're playing on Leeches, which is totally free, and also on Duolingo. Now, Duolingo is good because they keep they keep track of your progress and then you know you just come back here and say next and you got to have the right sound set up and everything we're going to go to basics 2 and start okay you see the, whenever i see the green owl my um, Je m'appelle Marie. Okay, and the sound level seems pretty good. That does that's not too loud, right? Let's try it try it again. Je m'appelle Marie. Je m'appelle Marie. Je m'appelle Marie. Okay, so write that in English. I've never even seen this before, but I think it's it's just my name is Mary. I mean my name is Maria. It just makes sense. I they didn't show this. They just want us to be really smart and figure it out, I guess. My name is Marie. That's what I like about Duolingo. They really make you think. Okay. We got it right. Je suis français. Je suis français. Je suis français. Je suis français. I have to write that in English? Je suis français. I am French. Uh, that's what it means. I am French. So that bear there is a French bear. Good. Complete the chat. So I've never seen this before. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Emile. What are we supposed to do? You know, I've never seen this before. It's so weird. Did I click on the wrong thing? I think I clicked on the wrong thing. I gotta. I'm getting confused because I have never seen any of these. I guess I didn't know how to start it. Um, suppose I just go back. Are you sure you want to quit? Yeah, I'll quit it and go back and try to find the right page. Now I clicked on basics two. I think I was in basics one. They unlocked that, and I was thinking, well, I was up to that f far, but no, I'm just, I'm still in basics one. I got to do that because that got really confusing really fast. We got to complete the basics one before we go to basics two. Okay. C'est une pizza. C'est une pizza. C'est une pizza. C'est une pizza. Okay, that means it's a pizza. Now, now I am in my league. It's a pizza. It's a pizza. Oh, my keyboard's working good tonight. Uh, fill in the blank. Um, you don't want to say you are an orange. You have to say um, that wouldn't even be you are. That would be you is an orange, I think. But it's kind of like, are you eating an orange? So it's got to be that one. Type the missing word. Uh, a croissant. So I think this is kind of easy. Don't we just copy what we see there? Like, uh, some of these are kind of strange questions. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, one of my chatters told me the other week that uh is not really an ant, but they want ant, so we click it. Oh. Uh, it's not really an ant, according to what I... Maybe it is, though. Uh, write this in French. You are eating an orange. So, you is like, du. And then, I think, uh, uh um, Orange. I guess that's how you say it. Let's see if we got it right. Just check it. Look. Oh, look. They got the underline there. 
Oranges, yeah, you have to put un orange, not un orange. Okay, we have to remember that. That's easy, though. Un orange, un orange. Un chat mange un croissant. 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 Un croissant. Okay, so that's a cat is eating a croissant. They like to eat croissants, apparently, in French, so. Un chat mange un croissant. Un chat mange. Un chat mange un croissant. Un chat mange un croissant. Un chat mange un croissant. Okay, well, we said it pretty good. Uh, you're eating a pizza. Tu manges un pizza. Un croissant et une orange. 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 Un orange. Un croissant et une orange. Didn't get it right. Okay, I'll give it another try. Un, un croissant et une orange. A croissant à un orange. All right, that was better, apparently. Une pizza. Une pizza. Une pizza. Une pizza. You can make it here really slow, too. Une, Une pizza. Une pizza. Ah, okay. So if it's in, it's got to be this one. It's not uh with the U-N. So un pizza. That's it, like that. Un chien et une pizza. Un chien et une pizza. Un chien. It's not and a pizza, so un chien mange une pizza. A dog is eating a pizza. Tu manges une orange. Tu manges une orange. To mange un orange, to mange un orange, to mange un orange. So that's to mange un orange. All right, that should do it. Oh, I have a typo. Oh, I spelled orange wrong. Write this in French. Marie is eating. I never know. But the, I'm just going to try Marie. I think it's just like mange. Marie mange. Is that how you say that? Marie, Marie mange. Okay. Write the pizza in French. So that would be la pizza. La pizza. Un garçon mange un croissant. Um, you can hear it slow or the same speed. The same speed actually was kind of slow. Un garçon mange un croissant. Un garçon mange un crush. Let's see. Un garçon mange un croissant. Un, 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 un garçon mange un croissant. Croissant. So type it in French, so that would be un garçon mange un. It's my keyboard tight. My keyboard is acting up. Un croissant. As soon as we finish these, we're going to play some chess and see if we're in the singularity. I hope so. How's those brain waves going? I got to check my. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm just checking my, looks good. Brainwaves are looking good in real time. I mean, later I have to check the broadcast and see. But as I see them right here in the Twitch studio, they're going just exactly in real time. Ah, that's another technical thing we have to check into. So. Type what you hear. Un homme mange. 
Anamanj. That's Anna. That's her name. So I think they spell Anna in French with two N's. Anamanj. I think it means Anna is eating. No. Ah, uh, it's not Anna. Anamanj. Anamanj. Sounds similar. It's Anam. Anam is a man is eating, not Anna. It's very similar. Anam mange. Anam mange. An How would you say Anam mange? Anam mange. Anam mange. It's very similar. I think we got that pretty close, but they really want to hear Anam. Anam. Uh, you are eating an orange. So, two mange. Mm, orange. In a manch, or un orange, two manch in a man, un orange. An a manch, an a manch, an a manch, an a manch. Okay, I heard that very clearly. So this is an a manch, an a manch, an a manch. Believe it or not, that's how you pronounce a man is eating it. When you spell it, it looks completely different than Anamanj. But that's why you're supposed to pronounce it. Anamanj. <laughs> My beta went way up and way down. Okay, we're just seven points away from the daily goal. I think we can safely come back though. Let's play a little bit of lead chess. And we can always come back if we need to reactivate our brain centers more. So let's see. Breathe deeply, oxygenate the brain. It's very important for getting the brain waves working. And we'll see if we're in the singularity. If we're in the singularity, we will see clearly. We won't make a lot of blunders, and our chest rating will go up. But we'll see. Let's see if we're in the singularity now. <clears throat> so far, we're doing okay. We haven't made any blunders yet, I don't think. It's always a question where to bring this bishop. We'll bring him out there. Get this bishop developed. He can go different places. I think he can go here. This knight doesn't, it's not really pinned because this knight can't come across. Uh, I think the most aggressive move is out here. That's interesting. If that if this pawn moves up now, we'll bring the bishop back to here. I guess he didn't like the bishop there. What's he taking a lot of time for? Oh, he took it right back. Uh, there's no reason to sack, you know, I would get two pawns for a knight, or, and I would lose my queen. It would be pretty dumb. So, yeah, I can't take those pawns. Just bring the bishop back there. Oh, he's going to go over there. Wow. I guess I should already... Pin that knight. I'm going to bring my queen up. You know, if he screws up those pawns over there, I mean, everybody is always worried about their pawn structure, but until you reach a certain level, I don't know, I kind of think those pawns will be okay. You know, I'll, I'll get an attack, a strong attack over here on this side, unless he's really careful. I wouldn't mind just doing something tricky here.
I think he's going to take this knight to screw up my pawn structure, but my pawn structure is only weak if he can attack it. We'll see. I don't know. Move his queen a little bit out of there and see what happens. This is getting kind of interesting now. I've got, it looks like already I have a few combinations. I think he didn't play very aggressively there. You know, he moved his king over two times. I guess that gave me a little bit of opportunity. Hmm, you see how this bishop is protecting this pawn even? I can take here, if he retakes me here, it's like I almost got a checkmate going. And if I take with this and he retakes me, I take with this and get a checkmate here. I think either way is good, I think. I'm going to try this and see what happens. Oh, I didn't even see that. He can take this knight, this rook down here. I think I just lost the game. If I go here, oh boy, checkmate. Can you believe that? I really blundered. Really, really, really blundered. Or I have to go, oh, he wants a rematch. Okay, I'll do a rematch. I think I'm going to do better this time. I'll come out and really womp on this player. I got a feeling that I'm not going to be nearly so easy to beat this time. Could be wrong about that, but I've seen this setup before. I think I end up with some doubled pawns. I think I end up doubling his pawns when I do this. You see how he ends up with those doubled pawns so I think that's good for me. Now I can I can come up here, check, and then take this pawn. I'm trying to remember if that's any good. I really don't remember. Do I really want those pawns? I don't know. I'm just going to try it and see what happens. If he brings this pawn up, I win its rook, which is really nice. He's going to move his king, and then I can decide. I can castle before I take that pawn. I have different things I can do. So this will teach you for what you did to me, you, you evil person. This evil person was not nice to me last game. Um, can that queen come and get me? Not really. I'm, I'm just going to come over here and see what happens. Oh, no. What should I do? Bring the queen over here, maybe? No. Bring the king out? No. Bring this pawn up. He puts me in check there. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Raiding, yeah. I'm just going to go back here. I think I've got actually... Hmm, I think this is my safest move. If he takes my queen, I'll weather this out with some good center pawns. And if he comes down there, I'll come here. And if he takes me, I'll weather this out. And I'm um, going to be a few pawns ahead. If he doesn't take me, I'll take this pawn. And then bring my rook over. I think this will work out okay. All right, yeah. Let's try this. Uh, wow, I can castle. He's going to let me castle, and I think that's probably in my interest. 
Oh no, he will. Let's see. No, that wouldn't be in my interest. I would lose my queen. I have to move this pawn up because you see, he's going to bring this bishop out. And if I had castled my queen and rook, would have been in big on the big diagonal. In my, you see how my delta went way up right there. My red one. The red wave goes up when I find a solution and I get happy. My delta goes way up. What I got to do if I want to get the singularity is I got to get the green, the beta, up on top. So I got to force that up there. I don't know if I can do that by just will of mind. But it happened to me um, a few videos ago. If you check it out, um, what happened. Okay, now I can already go over. I got to castle as soon as possible. But he can't do that trick on me now. Well, he can do that. Um, now, if he takes my queen, oh, I had that prepared. Remember, I had that pawn ready to come up. And I take that with, uh, okay, we got a pretty good, I don't, oh yeah, we're doing okay on the clock. I think it's looking good here. We're a pawn ahead and just got to figure out where this thing's going to go. That keeps him from castling queen side. Oh, we just got to move, you know? Don't want to lose on the clock. Yeah. Yeah, I'm mining crypto too, you know, just... Um, I think I'm going to have to watch out here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to lose a pawn here. I think it's better just to move the king out of the way. The king always gets in danger. Okay, I lost a pawn. Pawns are going to be really even now. I don't necessarily have to take this. I don't want to waste a lot of time thinking about it. I really don't know that seems like every time I protect that night pawn with the rook I get into trouble but I don't see any problem right now about doing that then I'll move it up and then the rook will be free I guess seems to be bad karma protecting a I'm going to move him up according to my plan and just see what happens and see if I get that horrible karma again, or if it'll be all right. I think I'll bring this up here. If he brings his pawn there, though, I'm going to be without anywhere to go, really. I really don't know what I'm doing here, to tell you the truth. I just thought I would protect the knight and attack him. Okay, this will give, I don't know, he'll come down here. I take there. Okay, I'm going to have to go up here so that he can't come down here. And I can still do that thing I was thinking about, kick that knight out and take his bishop. Oh, now I got two things on the bishop. He's going to have to move that bishop. Okay, now I guess I'll double those rooks and just see what happens. Okay, that's how I do that. I think I'm going to bring this over here and get an angle on the other side somehow. Plus, I'm just worried about time right now. I'm going to give my king a flight square because 
I think this game is going to come down to time. He's moving kind of slow, and I'm moving kind of slow, and it's he's got 50 seconds left. And I kind of imagine it's going to come down to time. Why don't I just take him? I think I can do that. Or not. Did I just lose the game? Yeah, I think I just lost the game. I got checkmated on the back row. Look, my king's got nowhere to go. And I take here and it's checkmate. Rats, we're just not playing very well today. Um, that's checkmate. Wow. Darn it. We, you know, I would say do some more language learning, but we've got a number of viewers here already, and um, language learning is fun in the beginning, but I think we're just going to play some chess here because from what I understand, the Duolingo segment of my chess streaming is not the most popular segment. Most of the people are here to see the chess. Okay, we're just going to try to play a little bit faster. I think I got into trouble that time because I was a little bit slow. And like I was saying, with this pawn here, that knight shouldn't really feel the pin too bad. This bishop keeps this knight from coming up on that side. I'm just going to castle this time and get this thing out of danger. I don't want to take with the queen because he'll take this knight. And we'll see what he's going to do. I'm going to bring this rook over because I'm thinking about maybe bringing this bishop back and then the queen up here and getting some strange attack if he castles over on that side. And he's not going to let me do that. He's going to. But I'm still going to try. I might get some kind of play out of this. I don't know. He's going to keep coming up, keep coming up, keep coming up. If he comes up one more time, I'll just move my pawn up. The two knights are protecting each other pretty well there. Oh, now let's see what he can do. He can't bring his queen up here because I got my queen. I got a little bit of protection over here on this side. He can't castle on this side. He could castle over there. If he does that, I might have some counterplay. We'll see. Where can this knight go? This knight can't really go anywhere. This knight could go here. He takes, takes, and then can trade off the queens. I lose a pawn. I'm a minute ahead right now, which is good. Okay, he came up there. I kind of think my queen will be good right there. And I'll force that knight back. I'm a minute ahead still on the clock. I'm going to force this, this knight back by moving this pawn up, but I don't. he doesn't even give me time to do that. Um, okay, I'm going to make sure he can't do any more little forays like that. Kind of like force him to try something else. He would like to bring this queen up here, but he can't because his bishop kind of sits back there lurking. He could bring the queen up here and then over there. He wastes a move. Ah, that's what I thought he might do. Now I'm going to... I don't know. Every time people castle, you kind of like advance pawns toward their position in a mad rush, hoping to, hoping something will suddenly materialize for you. That's a good defensive position right there. 
I knew once a. I kind of. I think that this bishop is going to have to come over here to protect this knight another time. At some point, I think it's going to be necessary. I don't know when or how, but I'm thinking it won't be bad to have that well protected. Now, what are you going to do now? Okay, and I'm coming over here because the bishop now protects this knight and also gives me an attack on the queen side over here. Okay, I see why he did that. This was another reason to have this bishop over here because now this knight is free to come up into here. I was thinking about that. This pawn can come up here, but as long as this bishop is here, his queen is going to have a hard time penetrating with this bishop here. I kind of think that if I retake that with the pawn, I might have miscalculated there, but I just thought that this ties down his queen. And if I had retaken with the pawn, I'm going to triple my rooks here. This gives another protection against this knight, too. If I get in too much trouble, I can move this pawn up. Except he's going to bring his. OK, yeah. Figured he would have to do that. I could be in trouble here. Uh, how much time? I got to calculate how much time. I don't know. I can't calculate too much. He's going to have a, yeah, I thought he would do that. He's going to get a pretty good attack going over here on these dark squares. How much time does he have to do that? He's got to bring the brook. I think I'm going to have more time than him. And he can't really, we'll see how this works. You see, he can't take the, he cannot take that with his queen. Now, this is not really doing me any good. I'm just going to bring him over here. He can't take the knight with his queen. He would have had to bring, oh yeah, there he can do that. And then I lose. I lose. Is there anything I can do here? Let's just try and see if I can. Maybe I can skate out of there with my queen, with my king. I don't know. I'm just going to waste some time on the clock here. If he takes that with his pawn... He blocks the the queen, the queen from coming up in there. That's the thing. I can't move my. Thirty six seconds. I'm just going to try to win this on time. I don't see how he can invade. I'm going to bring this back here and he's going to he's going to I'm going to harass this king in the last 20 seconds and and 
not going to do too much fast there, though. I can't believe I made that mistake. Darn it. The only thing I can do is hope for a stalemate, but that's not going to really work for me. Oh, he got a queen and won the game. Can you believe that? I was really going to win that game and then really made a big calculation. Okay. You see the, how my delta waves just went way up there? Normally that precedes a moment when I get into the singularity. Because every once in a while I have to lose a game. And then at that moment the brain waves kick in. A little bit of anger, a little bit of adrenaline. We got black, and I got a feeling this is going to go very, very well. I'm going to move faster, and this is going to be it. This is going to be the last game. I mean, not this game. The last game I played was the last game before the singularity. From here on out, it's singularity time. We are going to... I probably miscalculated there. I should. Oh no! I could I've no. I didn't. I would. It would have been. I would have been one move too um, short for castling and doing the pin against his queen and king on that file. Okay, so the bishop looks strong there. Will castle. This pawn is. I've seen this this opening quite a few times. This pawn is really good here against the knight. Okay, now we're going to get some nice pinning action here if he's not careful. Um, trying to think what's the best movement order here. I got to connect my rooks before I get really fancy and everything. I don't think he's going to take that knight with his bishop because he's got so many plans for that bishop over here on this side right now. I'm just thinking psychologically. It'd probably be a good idea for him to take that knight. But also, if he does, I mean, that knight wasn't doing me any good, really. And if he takes it and doubles my pawns, but I've got these two bishops coming down on this side, and I got the rooks. He's undeveloped back here. I can get a really nice. I'm going to already connect this rook and start to play for this, this pin against the queen. He kind of like has to move his queen now because of that rook against his queen. If he doesn't, I'll win this bishop. I'll just take him here and then take him there. Okay, he went back in there. Okay. Um, There's different things I can see to do, but this doesn't look too bad. If he trades on this file, I get this rook over here, and he's far from being ready to bring this rook to challenge me, and the queen can't challenge me. And if he's not careful, I'll just screw up his pawns over there really bad. This knight's going to swing in. This knight swing in looks really strong, but he just moves the bishop back to there, and... The bishop kind of holds the knight in both directions. But what I really want to do is, now that I got this knight under danger, I want to bring this bishop back here, the queen up, and start threatening a mate over here. That should probably be what I should do right now, forthwith. The delta waves... We're going way up there because of my happiness index. 
because I'm feeling pretty good about this game. Now that's an interesting move. Suppose he brings that knight out. Where can he bring the knight out to? I can win a pawn. I'm going to get ready and he, it's hard for him to bring the knight out now. See, I'm not going to be able to do my queen, my queen and bishop trick if if he moves this pawn up to that square. So that's why I did that. And the bishop has to stay on that knight so I can take it because the knight is protecting this square, and I want to get this queen and bishop lined up against that square. Getting all of this kind of lined up and hoping that it works. I'm doing really good on the clock. Three minutes to 143, which is very good. Okay, um, if I try that now, if I try that now, I can do it and I can retake with the knight. Then he retakes with the bishop. I could sacrifice against that bishop. Would that help? I think, I don't know what else he's going to do, but I think if I protect against that square again with one more pawn, I'll be able to move that queen up next move. And he doesn't have much he's planning because... Why did he do that? He's just kind of biding time against, he sees what I'm trying to do. And he's kind of bottled up in here. Look at his queen. His queen is kind of like buried in the middle of all of that over there. Okay, now we got to do it. He can't take, he thinks, it looks like he can take this bishop, but he can't because the queen will come up. And he can't block the queen because I just take him. He can block it with the pawn, but that gives me time to move the bishop. I'm going to move the bishop back to here. I'm not going to trade him off because that would allow his queen to come out in an easy way. I'll... I'll Oh, wow. I can take him. And I'm threatening mate again. If he blocks the mate, I just want a piece. I think he's really low on time and kind of freaked out, not calculating very well. Okay, so now... Probably, you know, it's a, he's got 22 seconds left. This should be a pretty safe square. And you can come back here. In 17 seconds, even if he wins a piece or something, he's going to be hard pressed to win this game. And he can put his bishop out there, and I took it. Okay, so I got a bishop and a rook for a queen. That wasn't too bad. In terms of my pieces, I mean, he took my queen, but I've got 
two minor pieces and a rook out there. I'm just going to give my king a flight square because never know what he's going to do. Looks like he just won a bishop, but he's got two seconds left. It's not going to win. I would be really surprised if he can pull this off in 1.4 seconds. Should I just screw him up now? Sometimes I've seen people actually win a game. When you just, you know, oh, he's only got <laughs> tenth of a second. I'll just go ahead and sacrifice all my rooks and knights in crazy ways against them. And sometimes they guess all of that and you end up losing. But not that time. Well, that was good. Wow, look. The gamma just did something really strange. I hope you I hope my viewers are seeing these in real time. And the green, remember I said I wanted to get the green up on top? It's on top right now. It's on top. So let's see if we're in the singularity. We'll play another game. If we're in the singularity, our chess rating is just going to start going through the roof. Through the roof. <sighs> let's do this. The green is up is on top of everything except my happiness. So that's a good sign. The chess singularity could be here tonight. This will be the first time it's ever been achieved. And you would have seen it here in a historic moment. I'm going to come out and really put the question to this bishop. Put the question to the bishop. Put it to him again. Okay, now you see, I got a problem with this pawn. And if I go here, he takes, and then see, when I retake, the knight very niftily protects that pawn. And I think I'm going to try to go for some sort of a kingside attack, so I'm going to position my bishop here. We're doing okay. We've got a pretty strong center right here. We've got pieces developed a lot more than he does. Now, when you get one pawn attacked, a good idea sometimes is to attack something else. Um, like I can attack this pawn with my queen. Will that do me a lot of good? No. You can give up a pawn, too, if you need to. Trying to think what to do here. Well, I don't want to waste a lot of time. I'm wasting a lot of time. I can move a pawn up, too, if I want to. Would that be good? Not a bad move, I think. It keeps his knight from coming up here. This pawn is well protected. Well, my opponent left the game. This probably has probably has uh, router problems. We'll have to do the post mortem on this. That, that pawn move I just made is, in a sense, I wouldn't say it's counterintuitive, but it looks a little bit odd. But what else could I do? Didn't want to take him. And moving this up, he was just going to bring the knight up here. Oh, I can claim victory. And I will, too. I mean, I've got time invested in this game, and the person just leaves, doesn't come back. And I think I'm in the singularity. I was going to win anyway, because... Let's look at the analysis board. Request a chess analysis. I just want to see about that pawn move. I thought that was the weirdest thing. Um, so, you know, we were playing that game actually very well. One inaccuracy, which is actually nothing. It was probably this little move here. And then everything else was perfect. No inaccuracies. 
no mistakes, nothing like that. So that was actually a pretty good game. Uh, so that pawn move was correct. Let's see where my inaccuracy was. Um, see, they are saying that that king's gambit was my inaccuracy, but after that, everything was perfect. Uh, you see how the white just kind of like keep going up steadily. I'm going to move this up to see what they say is the move when he makes that pawn move. I want to learn about that. Oh, yeah, you see? So we figured that out, and we figured it out right. See the arrow? The stockfish is telling to move that pawn up. So that was actually a better move. We ended up with 1.3 when we, when we moved that up. If we had done this, which was one thing I was thinking of, it would have been similar, but not nearly as good. And it would have really offered a lot of chances up here in different ways. I think we locked him in better. Okay, well, we got to test if we're in the singularity. And look, look at that. Look at the beta wave. It's staying up there near the top a lot. Get up there, get up there, get up there. The alpha is a kind of a mystery to me still. I don't know how that's going to play into playing chess. Okay, I'm going to start another game and see if we see if we're in see if we remain in the singularity. If we're in the singularity, we're just going to our ratings just going to keep going up and up and up. It's going to go through the roof. Through the roof. Okay, we're going to play a Carol Can against this. We're going to keep the clock moving here in a fast way. No sense in bringing the bishop out to that side when he's got the bishop in there like that. He's castled, we'll castle too. I'm going to free up my queen. And a lot of times the king pawn goes up to king four, but in this game I'm just going to keep it back and because I've got this this one here to protect that. I can put the bishop over here. I'm going to bring the rook over into here and then the bishop back to here. And then we're going to see. Okay, now we don't have much choice. We have to break the pin there. But we're doing all right. I think if you looked at the chess machine, it would tell you that we're doing okay in this game right now. The next move is pretty crucial, though. Okay, I'm going to just play for the clock here, see how long he thinks about this now. Um, if he moves really fast, this won't really be much advantage to me. But it's a complicated position. I think it's even for me in this case because of this bishop back here. As he def he's defending this knight through this pawn. And everything else here is very secure. And so I just did that because I was thinking, how long is it, how many seconds is he going to take? We're just playing the clock here. And to, before he works through this position, it could... Um, could be pretty good. Okay, uh, now I got to put that queen someplace. Where does she go? I think it's going to be safest right over here. I'm going to drive that knight out. I think that is my best move. Just get rid of that knight. And then I'll drive the queen. Now I wasted some time on my clock too with the next move, but all in all, I'm a half a minute ahead. So
This will be, this might be kind of dumb, but it harasses his queen a little bit. Maybe he'll have to think a little bit more. I'm just playing the clock here. He's got an attack against this. Okay, I'm going to put... Wow, I really took a lot of time on my clock, unnecessarily probably. Should have had that planned out better. My whole idea is just buttress this pawn now with this bishop, and he'll try to attack this another time with a rook. Okay, there I have the magical defense again with the rook, well, I mean with the bishop through the pawn. If he takes that, it won't be bad at all for me. Now I could, uh, that was interesting. I could just move that thing up there. And I don't see where he's going to really be attacking me really strong. We're almost a minute ahead now. You know, I just got into these kind of like complicated positions, hoping that it would help me. And it did. I'm not going to waste a lot of time thinking. I'm just buttressing that knight up there. That's kind of like a key thing in my area. This knight can't really move out. It's kind of stuck there. He still can't move on. I'll take this one. Um, I'm just doing this because I don't want to waste time on my clock. But I'm pretty sure... I have a locked in position here. Um, I really don't see any way for him to break through this. The knight can't move out now. I'm going to just keep moving. This pawn is not really weak because he can't really attack it. Yeah, he can do that. That's one thing I was thinking that he could do. If he comes up here and takes this, then at least I got a rook over here. And we are a minute ahead. Should I just screw up his the clock a little bit more? I liked where that knight was, and I moved it over there. I don't know if that helped or hurt me. Um, I think I should run with this. Fifty three seconds, fifty one seconds to one fifty one. Now my king's like right back where he started from at the at the beginning of the game. He can go to the queen, he can come back here, depending if he switches his attack to this side. And he is. He's gonna switch his attack over to that side again. What do I do with my queen? I'm gonna bring my queen up here because I can take this pawn if he's not careful. I, mean, well, I want to keep this bishop here protecting against this. Oh, 
Ooh, that was bad. Wow. 26 seconds and I just lost a rook. Wow. This is not looking good for me. And it's going to be worse here if I don't play right. 20 seconds. I just got to hold this out. I lost an entire rook. I'm going to try to make sure that his queen cannot infiltrate. On this side, 14 seconds against 51. Can you get another check in on me? Yeah. 11 seconds. Seven seconds. Um. He's got two seconds. All right, well, nothing succeeds like success, right? Yeah, you can have a game. Uh, can you, if you send me a link, do you know how to send a link? And, or, you know, how do we do it? Just send me a link or something. You know, make it easy for me if you know how to do that. Because sometimes, you know, if as long as you can set it up, I'll play. I'll take on all challengers, sure. It's great, great. After this, um, but that was a that was a pretty good game. Okay, so let's just while he's getting that link, while the that player is getting that link, let's um, look at the analysis board. I think we were very, very, very far ahead, and then I blundered that rook. But because we were ahead on the clock. We still won. And you see, white was really ahead there at the end. But I always think, you know, the stockfish doesn't calculate how much time is on the clock when it makes these calculations. And we were ahead right there in the middle. Um, the username is like the Stein itch. Stein itch. I'll write it here. S. T I N E I T C H Stein H. That's at um, Lee Chess. Stein H. S T I N E I T C H. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was an okay game. Because why why do I say it was an okay game? Well, two reasons. First, we won. And second of all, it was very even, and then we pulled ahead and until I blundered my rook. And even when I blundered my rook, we were in pretty good shape because we were a minute, you know, it was something like 54 seconds. Well, we can see here on the clock, we can see when I bl made that blunder, I really screwed up big time. Let me see when it was. I really screwed up. Yeah, right there. You know, can you believe that? I was so dumb. I do that all the time. I actually said, oh, I'm going to keep the, bish the bishop here to avoid the infiltration of the rook. And then he comes down there with his rook, and instead of taking him, I always figure, oh, then my opponent knows what he's doing. I just have to move my king out. And But anyway, we still won. But you know that's that's always something you you have to remember when you play chess. Uh, never assume your player knows what he's doing. Uh, yeah, always never assume, never assume because I will I lose so many games like that. If I just put that in my mind, like don't assume he knows what he's doing. Um, probably score will go up a lot. Okay, well, I'm just going to play one quick game while I'm waiting for the link to come here. It won't take long. Just going to play one more game because otherwise I'm going to kind of like get my chess mentality 
Oh, you sent a challenge? Okay, all right, let me see, let me see. I, I forgot about that. I have to look here. Let me see how I go back. The ch challenge should be here someplace, right? Um, if I click on, st oh, here it is. No. I don't know where to find the challenge. Let's see right here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, I got it. Yeah. From Shrekaroo. Okay, wait, Shrek. Okay, let me go back and take the green arrow. Okay, good. Challenges right here. Green arrow. Great. Okay, we're playing again. Track. Oh, I got white. It's a five minute game. Thanks for picking my favorite time. This is going to be fun. And I don't even know if Shrek could be, he might be, or she might be the new. Who knows if, if that is the reigning world champion or something. It could be. And we'll just see what happens here. Uh huh. Well, 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 well. I don't know, maybe attack his queen, Shrek's queen. Uh huh. Now let's see what we can do here. Is there anything? I got a feeling that'll be a pretty good move. Oh, he's got me a check. Okay, see what happens now. It's an interesting game. Uh, excellent, excellent move. Um, is there anything I can do at this point? I think I, I think I have to go over here. Uh oh, I got checkmated. Can you believe that? Shrek beat me. Good one. Excellent, excellent. I thought I was going to... Let me just do the quick uh, recap there, if I had anything. I, I saw some checkmates that I was going to get and everything, but I think I screwed up. Look, White was really ahead there for quite a while. Let me just see if that was a valid sacrifice i saw that i took there yeah that was i was like really far ahead at this point 3.1 i just wanted to see where i really screwed up here now that was not a bad move now l let me see from this point what i should have done the continuation Okay, that was right. The rook should have come down. See, I was I moved the pawn up because I wanted to keep the square for the king not to escape. But it says here I should have just brought, I was thinking about doing that. And why can't he just do that? You see, that's a little bit trickier than I imagined. I got to keep the queen from getting on the back. And then there's all kinds of tricky stuff here. It was a little bit of a complicated 
it was kind of like a little bit, it was a complicated win, let's put it that way. It was a, yeah. Anyway, but that was good. That was a fun game. If you want to play another one, send me another link. Otherwise, I'll just take a random player here. But that was fun. Thanks for playing. I always appreciate it when somebody gives me a challenge. I don't see any more challenges here, so I'm just going to go over here and play a random game with somebody. Okay, five zero. Come on now, we gotta win a game. Uh, you know it's hard to beat sometimes because the problem is the other player is basically set on winning. If they didn't have that mindset that they wanted to win and they were going to just try to win at all costs, and they're going to defend at all costs, too. If it weren't for that, it'd be a lot easier. But unfortunately, it's not like that. Okay, now my king, I, king always gets kind of like in danger. Let me see how this is going to be. I don't know, maybe just move the king out. If I lose a pawn, I lose a pawn, but I don't want to waste a lot of time on the clock. It's always hard to calculate these things. I do know that you can win the queen here if they take this pawn there. You retake and then you put him in check and win the queen. But you didn't do that. Um, I figure that knight's coming up there, and his queen's over here. The king is unexposed to that check. I don't know. I'm just going to try something here and see what happens. Okay, okay, now, I gotta, I would like to protect that pawn. I think the best one is to bring this up here. I lose a pawn, but I'm attacking his pawn now too, so there might be some kind of counter what's happening there. I don't even know if I want to take that pawn, though. If I take the pawn, I kind of think it's my best move. We'll see. I mean, this knight's well protected. And we can bring this bishop out to protect this another time. He came back there. Should probably just move my knight right back. I don't want to waste a lot of time on the clock. I'm constantly losing games because I just don't have enough and Ooh, this is threatening some stuff now. Um, he can take that pawn and defend against the check, but I can come down and get this pawn. I can also check. That won't help me very much, though. I think the best thing I can do is come down and win a pawn. Uh, 
Um, this maybe looks like I'm attacking the knight. I'm really just, yeah, I do want to attack that knight because I'd like to bring my queen right up into here, check. It's nice that my queen is on the proper diagonal for avoiding checks with his queen against my king. I think the best thing I can do is pin that knight. Okay, he went over there. Now, if he's not careful here, I'll win his bishop. I'll check him here and then take the bishop. Does he have any defenses against that? Not really. It was hard because the bishop was pinned and... Okay, that was that worked, but I got this on him now too. Uh huh. I'll have to bring the queen back. This is getting complicated. It's not didn't work out nearly as good as I thought it was going to work, but. Um. I got to get this knight out of here and where can he go? Up here doesn't do much. Over here does more, I think. He's got more places to go from this position. He can go up here checking into here. This will be like checkmate, see? the. The rook against the knight, and then the queen comes up here, check, and then there. I think he has to bring his rook back, if I'm not mistaken. People don't like to bring the rooks back. And then I can bring the knight up here, checking him, and then the knight up into here. The rook will be here. I don't want to waste too much time on the clock. The queen is doing a stalwart job protecting this king on the white rank. Uh huh. Now I can't do that thing I was thinking of because he takes me there and I can't get a check. Gotta get my queen out of here. Got to do like that, I guess. Don't, you know, I got 30 seconds left on the clock. Uh, is there anything now that I can do? Come on. Give me something smart to do here. Is there anything? No, I couldn't pull that out. I wasted a lot of time. Look at that. Zero seconds to a minute and 46. I was just wasted time on the clock looking for the checkmate. Maybe there was one. I'm just going to look on the next board. There was going to be some possibilities there. I would like to see if if I had any opportunities there. Yeah, look, white was like just winning, 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 winning. Right there is where I apparently I made my mistake. Got a 7.2 ahead. 
and then it just got complicated. I had the pin there, and he came over there, and then I said, okay, I can't come there, but what would have been my move? According to this, I should have just been, I should have come over here. See how that would have been. If I had come over there, that, I was afraid he was just going to take that. And then, oh, I didn't see that. Then I thought I was going to lose my queen. I saw that much. Oh, yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. Darn it. That's like a classic mate over there in the corner. Always, always, always. At that point, I should have just seen that. It was just like a, a little ways away. Play, I've got to be a little bit sneakier. And I took that knight thinking it's keeping the pin. And then it all fell apart. And the move would have been just right over there. And if the knight moves out of there, secret, I get the, I get the mate right there. Because he goes over there. Okay. I feel like, I feel like the next game is going to be put me into the singularity. I really feel like it. I really, really think it's going to happen. I think, and I got the brain waves here to prove it. If the brain waves cooperate, I'm going to be there this time. Oh, yeah, look at, look at that bait, the delta going way up there on top. Okay, if we just, you, you could see in that last game we had like a totally winning position and just didn't quite pull it off. This time we will. Need to go a little bit faster. I think I'm going to try to push pawn to king four this time. I think I can do that. Okay, you see now if he takes the knight, I retake with this knight so I can keep protecting here. Now I'm going to try to decoy that out of there. That'll slow him down on his bid to what he wanted to do. And I'm going to do a kind of a sneaky thing here. The bishop really does have a lot of influence up through there now. And now threatening to screw up his pawn position. And I might just do that even though, you know, he would get an open file against my castle king. He puts his king in the corner. If I don't have a strong attack against him, sometimes opening up those pawns is an advantage for the other player. And I think he's calculating all of that right now. He seems to be a good player. Let's just see what happens here. We got a little bit of, we want a little bit of time off from that. I'm just going to really complicate things here and see if I get, I saw he took a lot of time on that last move. He might do the same thing this time. If he takes this pawn here, I will retake with the bishop. Oh, no, I can't do... Oh, well, yeah, I can do that. I can take this with this pawn. Okay, he's playing very well. I don't want to take that. No way. Okay, this is going to be an interesting game. I can tell that already. I think we got like a new game on the board here. I think this probably has never been played in the history of all chess. 
If he brings the bishop back into here, I'll move the pawn up. I think the best play is not to bring the bishop back. It would be to attack something of mine. Maybe trade off here. I'm just going to narrow his position down a little bit. Make him more uncomfortable. What's he going to do with that knight? I have a really weak pawn now here, but I'm hoping to protect that. I can protect it with my rook. Yeah, I'm going to bring my rook over. No. I can't bring my rook over. I have to protect it with my bishop because he could have brought his knight up into here blocking the protection of my rook on that pawn. Okay, look at that. We're a whole minute ahead. So those complications were to our advantage. Uh, he blocked me back. And I can't a couple of games ago, um, for those of you who were here, I was saying, like, don't assume that your opponent knows what he's doing. And I have, I applied that principle that time. I thought, he's moving the pawn up, but I'm not going to just move it backwards. I'm going to see if I can take him. These uh, players are always doing ridiculous things. And I got two moves to do here. I, I think my best idea here is just to go like this and kind of simplify this down. Oh. I think that kind of helps me. He's going to have to bring his queen back into, okay, brought it up into there. Okay, I know I can see what he's going to do. He's going to move this pawn up and I don't know. I'm just going to play with him here a little bit. I think his his attack that he wanted to do is getting stymied as he looks at it here. Um, because I can do this and then take this pawn. And if he moves that pawn up, I can still move this bishop in here and take that bishop in. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to trade off a piece there and hopefully I'm going to win on the clock here. I actually think that, um, especially in, when I think about how much, how many seconds it's taking him to calculate these things with this, it's kind of like vicious attack I'm doing here. I sacrificed uh, rook for a bishop, but got that out of it. Probably my best idea now is just don't do anything stupid and give my king a flight square. I'm always getting checkmated on the back rank. Oh, look at this, what he's doing. He's going to bring a pawn down and...
32 seconds to go. I don't know what's going to happen here. The way he's calculating all of this. Check. He's got 21 seconds left. He's got two rooks against the queen. Thirteen seconds left. The kings are equal. There, that came down to a really, really, really quick, quickly played end game. And he resigned because he moves his king out of the way. I'm going to take this pawn. I still got one pawn left, and he's got three seconds, and the king is supporting the pawn, and I was would win that game. So that was that was all right. Um, I don't know that I'm in the singularity. Um, you could see my beta going way, way, way up because I was so happy on that one. Um, none of these games so far have been totally satisfying. I think I'll play one more before calling it quits because it would be very nice to just like play a game where you really feel like, wow, that had some good calculation and results. And that's kind of like the Steinitch system. I try not to engage a lot of things there in the center. This knight's going to come up into here. I don't know. I might, I can go, always go over a queen side, too. I don't need to get into a big rush to castle king side every time. The bishop is going to go here, whether I go king side or queen side, depending on what he does now. Okay, I don't know, I think I can just force him out of there. If he comes up into here, I think I'll end up winning that pawn. I think I can win this pawn pretty easy, can I? Let's see. Okay, I gotta force him. Can't force him out because he's gonna take my queen. I'm not gonna win the pawn, but I'll get rid of that nasty knight. And now, I think I can. Def I think I can castle king side in this and have a pretty good game. Could also go queen side. The two pawns here actually protect my queen, my king against attacks on the black diagonal, believe it or not. The pawn is protected by the rook, and if he takes, the rook is going to have a pretty nice attack going down this file. He's so going to double up with this other rook. This pawn is protected by the rook. Oh, 
Okay, and now. I can put him in check with my knight. Oh, yeah. I'm going to, if he castles, I actually end up basically winning this game, I think, because this, this pawn is weak. That pawn is very, very weak. And he's still weak. I'm going to take him. I got three pieces on that pawn, though. Now he's got me... He's got. He's gonna get. I get my rook unless I'm careful here. Um. It's got to be something I can do here. Let's see the pawn. Takes my queen. Suppose I move this pawn up. Put him in check. I don't know. This doesn't look so bad. We'll see. I think I still have some nice things I can try here with my knight. Oh, let's see. Well, that was not so helpful. Mm, I was going to move that pawn up by. I don't know. Like, I'm a rook down right now, but his king's in the center. And we'll see. I'm just going to lose my my piece unless I do something. Uh, let's see. Does that help me anyway? Let me see. I don't know. I'm just going to move this pawn up and see if the pawn can win somehow or do something. He checks me with the bishop. I put my king over in the corner, and this bishop keeps me protected on the white diagonal. If I can get that pawn, I have to move fast. Just got to keep going according to plan. Oh... Crap, 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 crap. Is there anything I can do? 12 seconds left.
No. Oh, well. Crap, wow. I don't think we got a lot of data there. We're going to have to do better. Um, tomorrow night's another night. We learned some things. Um, learned a little bit of French there in the beginning. And... Don't know. Tomorrow night, maybe we'll be in the singularity. We have to just see. Uh, but it was fun. I lost a great game against Shrek. Shrek uh, came out swinging really strong in a very hotly contested King's Gambit. And that was fun. So we'll see everybody tomorrow night. Um, hang tight. And be safe. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.